Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to do some RGB distortion, more specifically the look that you see in the No Save Point music video directed by Mike Diva. That music video is super sweet. I get very inspired by that music video and it's all cyberpunk themed for the cyberpunk 2077 video game. But the distortion that I'm looking at is all on the edges. There's just a slight RGB distortion, but as you get closer into the center of frame, there's not. And I think it's a pretty sick look and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Now just a heads up, I will be using an external plugin called Chromatic Displacement from Red Giant's VFX Pack. All right, let's do it. Open up your footage in After Effects, and the first thing you're gonna do is create a new white solid. So go layer, new, white solid. Now you're gonna search for the effect called Lumetri Color and add that to your white solid. And now we're going to be playing with the negative vignette. So the more negative you go, the darker it gets on the edges, and you can play with the feathering, the midpoint, the roundness, but the white color will be creating a distortion border. Now once you've got a vignette that you're happy with, go layer, new, adjustment layer, and then add chroma displacement onto it. Change the displacement layer to the white solid and then the source to effects and mask. And now you can hide that white solid. And now on the chromatic displacement effect, you can raise or lower the distortion amount and that will add distortion to your scene. I ended up making my white solid visible again so I could readjust the vignette because I wasn't liking the look that was coming from it. And then I just hit it again. So when you lower that distortion amount into the negative, it will create a wraparound optical lens effect. And when you go into the positive, it's going to be creating a bulging effect. So whatever's in the center of the frame will kind of look like it's bulging out. And then when you adjust the displacement spread, that will accentuate that RGB split. And now if we turn off and on this adjustment layer, you can easily see how this look stylizes the video. And the last thing, you can also play with the color of the RGB split by adjusting the chroma tint. And boom, that is how you do an RGB distortion seen in the No Save Point music video, giving a cyberpunk effect. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.